Okay, better mind the arena wall flamers, they can be very, very dangerous. The arena flipper comes into play when a robot's immobilized. A bit of extra insult to injury to be flipped around the arena. That's the pit. Don't want to be going in there too soon. They've got to look out for the blasts of fire from those flame grills. They can do a surprising amount of damage. The CPZs are guarded by the house robots, so be wary. Three, two, one. Activate. The crowd are waiting for something to happen here. The titanium won't be able to stand up to too much of that. Proving hard to get through the titanium, although it's not impossible. That flip was ready and waiting for its first victim. That won't lift anything anymore. Here it comes again, trying to impale with a spike. Doing their best, pushing against any obstacle they can find. But nothing damaging it so far. And the flipper springs into action, throwing the robot into the air. And it lands with a crash. Off comes the spike. They're going to have to try another tactic now. They're lying on their back like a turtle in the sun. I'm afraid they can't seem to get back up. It's turtle suit for them. This is classic Robot Wars. Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? Tricky to cut into the titanium, luckily for them. And the jaws squeeze ever tighter. Shame it hasn't got a... Cease! Three, two, one, activate. Think the sergeant wants a taste of metal. That flip was ready and waiting for its first victim. Easy to punch through that aluminium armor with enough aggression behind it. The Kevlar taking a battering but holding up. I'm not sure how long the aluminium armor can hold up against this sort of impact. Determined to pound it into submission. And I think it's ready to submit now. Their spike's been broken off. Bashing away at the Kevlar, but it's ideal to resist it. Should take no time at all to get through the aluminium protection. And in it comes Saran with the spike. Another small gouge out of it. Needs to get a bit more weight behind it to do more than scratch though. The crowd are wondering what's happened here. This isn't what they came to see. They want maiming and slaughter. And it's gonna bark straight into it. The weapon trying to lift it and topple it. crowd are waiting for something to happen here. Matilda is hungry. Is she going to get a bite to eat? The Kevlar armor giving it great protection though. The Kevlar, not the toughest armor against blades like this. It's carnage! Devastation! It's Robot Wars! The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. Not much damage this time. Have another go. Bumping and banging. Not a lot of damage so far. And in it goes. A lot of weight behind this robot are making good use of it to cause damage. Not a lot happening here. The crowd want more action. Off comes the spike. They're going to have to try another tactic now. They can't right themselves here. I'm afraid it's game over. The Kevlar taking a battering but holding up. The pit opens up. Waiting to welcome the loser of our contest. The chainsaw coming in for an attack. Keep away from the pit. Unless you've had enough of this fight. Cease!
two, one, activate. Sergeant Bash is waiting to put who's the main course. Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? Not too difficult to cut into the Kevlar armor with the right weapon. The saw blade is shattered. It's not much use now. It's heading for a collision. Getting dangerously close to the CPZ that time. The Kevlar armor giving it great protection though. Not too hard to cut into the aluminium, but it's putting up a brave fight. Pushing with some force there as it drives it back. In it comes. Can it get under there? That flipper's ready and waiting for its first victim. They can't hide themselves. Something's wrong. It looks like they're out of the contest. The steel armor giving it some defense against the attack. The Kevlar armor makes it difficult to pierce the body of this robot. Bits and pieces everywhere. You could melt them down, I suppose, and make a whole new robot out of them. The Kevlar taking a battering but holding up. Metal everywhere. Cease! Three, two, one, activate. Bash is ready and waiting, standing to attention with the flamethrower just itching to flame away. I'm not sure how long the aluminium armor can hold up against this sort of impact. And it's going to be tough getting through the bulletproof glass on there. The cutting attack doing its best to get through the bulletproof glass. Getting a bit too close for comfort to those flame jets. The spike piercing its target. Not much damage, but it's made a start. Onto the arena flipper they go. Are they ready to fly? There goes the flipper. What are the views like up there? Buzzing closer, the chainsaw looking for an opportunity to see some action. Not a lot happening here, the crowd want more action. Lunging in with a chainsaw. They're lying on their back like a turtle in the sun. I'm afraid they can't seem to get back up. It's turtle soup for them. Not easy to smash through that polycarbonate shell. This has all the makings of a classic battle. The steel taking the punishment well so far. Easy to punch through that aluminium armor with enough aggression behind it. This is what Robot Wars is all about. Cease. Three, two, one, activate. I think the sergeant wants a taste of metal. The steel armor giving it some protection from the impact. It's finding it hard to stand up to the slicing with just the aluminium armor. Tough steel armor, making it harder to cut into, of course. The aluminium armor, not much defense against this kind of attack. It's attacking well, but... Hard to see any damage that time. Already a puncture mark as the spike gets stuck in. Nothing serious though, I don't think. Can the aluminium armor stand up to this? The armor holding out well against the charge. The axe has been broken off. No more use out of that then. The crowd are waiting for something to happen here. A good try. No damage that I can see. And it's going to barge straight into it. My word, this bit's a robot all over the arena. The aluminium shell, very flimsy protection against this onslaught. Here it comes again, trying to impale with a spike. This is classic robot wars. Its lifting days are over for this battle. Not too hard to cut into the aluminium, but it's putting up a brave fight. Off comes the axe, leaving them with much less attack power. That's a real blow. Nearly onto the flame grill, look out. Things are heating up at the side of the arena. There. Not a lot happening here. The crowd want more action. Keep away from the pit. Unless you've had enough of this fight, it crashes in, and that's gonna hurt. Not sure how long the aluminium armor can hold up against this sort of impact. It's carnage! Devastation! 
It's Robot Wars! Slamming in! You can see it's starting to make an impression! The Steel Armour giving it some defence against the attack. The Steel taking the punishment well so far. The Flamethrower blazing in! Their spike's been broken off! Thudding in! Not strong enough to do too much damage! Edging a little close to the CPZ that time. The pit opening now and they're in a floor. Maybe soon to be occupied by one of these robots. Tough steel armour, making it harder to cut into, of course. And it slides into the pit of oblivion. My word, who is it? Cease! Well, that's the end of the war. And what a war it's been. Bravo to our winners, for they are the new Robot Wars champions.